Okay, so why don't you give me some um, some initial parameters? How how far do you would you would you think you threw this ball? Um, at a forty-five degree. Sorry, angle. not how far. Uh, how what speed do you think you threw it at in feet per second? Um, I don't know. Um, it's hard hard to judge what feet per second is. Um, maybe fifty feet per second. Okay, that's fine. Fifty feet per second at a forty-five degree angle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me first off, what's different about this problem than what you, what you said? What are some things that you you think are different? Well, um, I don't think this is quite a parabola. Okay, interesting. Um, Oops, sorry about that. I think we're looking. I think gravity is not going to be the same. At least they're not the same minus sixteen here. Okay. Um, just because we're going. Out, so we're going kind of against gravity less maybe than we would be if we were going up. All right, um, interesting. So the ball is not going to get as high. Uh huh. Um, and it, it is. It also travels in the x distance. Yeah. So there's a, it's a really interesting thing that's happening here, and it actually is kind of neat that we studied um, linear algebra in the first part of the school year, like back in September, October, and November. Because uh, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to break the problem into two pieces. So we're going to study, we're going to look at this vector that initially was this, uh, what was it, 50 feet? Mm -hmm. At a 45 degree angle. And we're going to break this apart into 50 over root 2 feet per second going up initially. And 50 over root 2 feet per second going this way initially. <laughs> so the, the initial throw right at the beginning has two components. There's a part going up and a part going across. And gravity affects which of these? Gravity is going to affect the one going up. Okay. Why, why do you think gravity is not going to affect the one going across? Um, well, it's not going against gravity. All right. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I guess that's not really, we're not really modeling like friction or anything. That's right, we're ignoring all, 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 all things like that. So we can say if we just, if we just roll the ball across and we just keep going. Yeah. Do you know why that's true? Um, that's air resistance and friction. Things acting on the ball that slow down its speed. But yeah, and there's nothing that acts on it to slow it down. So that's one of Newton's laws, is that an object in motion stays in basically the same motion unless it's acted on. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing acting on the vertical, sorry, the horizontal component. And it's only, we're pretending it's only gravity acting on the horizontal component. So we study these two things separately to determine the path of this. Okay. Uh, so actually, I didn't ask you to grab your calculator ahead of time, but we should. We'll have you one for the next video. We'll, we'll break the calculator. Uh, out and solve solve this uh, these two things separately. Okay. All right.